hello everyone here in this video i'm going to show you that how you can create a collection slider in your shopify store so basically i have already created such sliders but uh, those were not advanced so this is a custom section which i have created where we have auto slide option we have uh, multiple slides to show and we have arrows and uh, there are a lot more other settings which i have added in the in this uh, recent uh, customization so on my screen you can see that we have this collection slider so we have arrows using arrows you can slide or maybe it is auto slide also and uh, i have also added uh, some more uh, customizations i mean some new sections created i have given the links below in the descriptions for example this uh, pricing table we have video slider and uh, then we have product slider we have testimonial slider we have images slider so all these sliders i have already created so i will be adding the links below in the description so you can implement all these sliders into your store so the first thing is that let me complete this one so for this i have already created it so let me delete it uh, at the moment so that i walk you through from uh, the very beginning so let me go back to the dashboard and now uh, let me delete that code also so for example slider yeah so you should start from here right now if you will see on my uh, front view you will no more able to see that collection slider because it is gone i have deleted that and now you need to go back to the dashboard and if you have any theme like free theme or paid theme so this feature is applicable there so you need to uh, click on these three dots and first thing is that you need to duplicate this theme because if you have any problem or something so you can roll it back to its original version uh, and once you are duplicating it then again need to click on these three dots click on edit code and here you will see that we have multiple folders and files you need to click on sections because we are going to create a custom section click on add a new section and right here collections slider and then click on done so once you are creating this custom section then you will find out that we have some uh, default code so you need to select and delete that code and then after you need to paste the code which i have already attached in the description so you will be getting the link below in the description so once you are uh, opening that code you should copy that and then after you need to paste it inside of this empty file and after pasting it you can actually save the changes and go back to the dashboard again and click on customization so on this customize part you can actually scroll down from the left bottom and you will see that we have an option to add the section so scroll down and click on add section and right here uh, collide a slider so once you are adding slider then we have collection slider so you need to click on that and then you can see that we have uh, collection sliders added and here you need to click on add block and click on uh, collection again you need to click and add collection so we have an option to add multiple collections right here so now you can choose the collection which you wanted to display right here so first example i am adding this one and then after new arrival then we have uh, more options like bars then we have hats so all these i have added but these are displaying only one so let me change the settings from here so right now you can change the settings like uh, we have collections so you can write here collection slider and you can align it in the left right or maybe center so whatever you want then after you can also make it a little bit bolder and then uh, yeah let me uh, add other settings title size is small medium and large so let's keep it medium then we have full width section that is like making it uh, full width from left and right so we will not have any spacing around then we have full width section on mobile view so you can also control for mobile view then we have hide collection title so for example you don't want this collection title right here in the bottom so it will be hide it if you want to keep it it will be there and then we have section background color so you can actually change the background color to this one maybe and then we have section padding so you can add some spacing on the top and bottom here 
and then we have enable auto slide so right now it is uh, sliding automatically for example without clicking on it if you click it slides but it uh, if you don't want to click and it uh, keeps sliding after six seconds so here we have 6000 milliseconds you can increase or decrease values and then we have uh, show left and right arrow if you want to hide it you can actually enable it also then we have the size of uh, shape of arrow so right now we have circular you can change the background color also of these arrows and then we have number of visible slides right now we have only one so let's keep it three maybe so it will look more beautiful now can you see and if you want to make it circular you can also make them circular uh, no not this one this one actually if you want to make it circular so this is looking circular portrait adopt and we have the square so let's keep it maybe circular and then we have a collection card size we have small large or medium so let's keep it medium and uh, then after we have enable collection card shadow if you wanted to put a shadow around it will be also there and media size for images and videos so uh, we can also add some images if you want without using any collection so that is also there and then we have square yeah this is for the images part then collection title so right now you can see that we have a uh, title if you want to keep it left and right that is also possible for now i am keeping it center and then we have collection title font size so you can increase and decrease this font size also so let me save these changes and then you can actually refresh this page scroll down to the bottom and here we go now you can see that we have collection slider and uh, we have images and uh, arrows background color title and if you want you can actually use these arrows to slide also and in your mobile view it will look more beautiful so here you can see it is looking more beautiful than before all right so that's how you can actually implement this feature into your store if you are facing any issues or something definitely you can ask me the questions below in the comment section or maybe you can directly message me i will uh, be happy to help you out in solving that and if you want you can add image slider testimonial slider product slider video slider pricing table or something so all these sliders i have already given the links below in the description so you can follow the videos and you can implement it into your store all right if you have any new store to create or maybe new section to create you can directly message me i will also create uh, for you so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video you can follow me on instagram facebook and tiktok you can also join a whatsapp group and if you want you can also subscribe me uh, for the youtube perks where i give some uh, free consultation to all those subscribers uh, related to speed optimization related to improvement in your store so there are multiple things which i am doing so you should join all of them so that you get the help out of it so thank you so much once again see you in the next video